So now I'm going to be showing you my Squishmallow collection. You can see them all here behind me. There's quite a lot of them. I'm going to be showing you each of them, telling you a little bit about all of them. This is in no particular order. The order is pretty much just whatever my hands land on first. And that is Miss Froggy here. So first of all, this is actually my most prized Squishmallow. It's a tie-dye frog, which is a Canadian exclusive, which I search every day on like every platform I could think of for months. Finally got her in a trade and she is beautiful. Then to another frog, flashback to this was my very first Squishmallow. You like can't even find Wendy's anywhere anymore so I was lucky I got her when I did. She was actually a present so I don't know where she came from but I'm very glad I have her in my collection because I'm a big fan of frogs. This is Dialight. She was a Christmas Squishmallow I got from Kmart last year. On her tag it says that she wants to have a rosy red nose like Rudolph and I made her a little red nose but I lost it. I know what happened to her. I'm sorry. Maybe it's just like a special Christmas thing. You can wear it again this Christmas. I'll make you another one. Okay, this is a relatively new Squishmallow. It's a little bear called, oh my god, I forgot his name. Oh my god, don't hate me. He does embroider on his stomach, which is very special, which is just so cute. I got this one off Depop because Australia pretty much has no Valentine Squishmallows. These corgis are called Regina and Reginald. I'm a big fan of corgi. I have a pet corgi, so I needed to add these to my collection. One of my first ever Squishmallows, I think this was my second Squishmallow, was this corgi and now they are a happy family. Okay, we have an Easter Squishmallow. This is a bunny called Candy. How adorable is she? She also has a little fluffy tummy and I love their little tails too. As you can probably tell, I love the tie-dye ones. I just think they're so pretty and I think they're also really special because like they're all so different. I mean, to be honest, if you look at two of any Squishmallow, they're gonna look a little bit different. They all have just like a little bit of personality, but the tie-dye ones especially. While we are on the topic of Easter, I have Blake the bunny. This is the eight inch one. One. They just released a 12 inch one at Kmart. So I'm gonna go squish hunting soon and see if I can find the 12 inch Blake and the 12 inch Bob. Anyway, this one and Candy over here. They came from Kid Stuff. Also from Kid Stuff, we have this eight inch Brenda. Isn't she gorgeous? I love these little sparkly antlers. I love any sparkly bits on Squishmallows because they're just so nice to feel. Squishmallows are big comfort item to me and just like feeling their softness. And then when they have like a little bit of different texture, that makes me excited. I also have a 5 inch Brenda which came from Woolworths actually. Surprisingly Woolworths which is just like our local food shop. They have Squishmallows. Well rarely actually. It's very rare to find them. Like every time my mum goes to the supermarket I tell her to look for them and she's only ever found them the one time that she found this Brenda. And when she did find them she sent me the cutest photo of them in the shopping cart. <laughs> They were just sitting amongst the food. They were so excited to come home. All right, I also have these Easter bunnies. Another Depop purchase. I purchase a lot of international Squishmallows on Depop because it's cheaper than eBay. And even though there are some sellers on Depop which sell for way too much, there are a lot of really nice people who sell for just like a little bit more, obviously, because it's like finder's fee and like you're paying for them to package it up and send it to you. This is Bubbles and Bop. Did I say that? I can't remember. I love that Bop has a little bow tie and purple Squishmallows, any kind of lavender Squishmallows is a must. I will not leave them behind. Not that I was in a store to leave her behind, but you get the idea. Okay, next up we have Delilah, which is quite a unique Squishmallow in my collection because you see she has like this texture all over her. Also, she's the only dark purple Squishmallow I have. Oh yeah, I love feeling her. She has a cute little tail. Another Valentine Squishmallow from Depop. This cute little deer. Got a little tail. More sparkly antlers. And I have Simone the Shrimp. She's a very popular Squish on the internet at the moment. I just got her from my local cat. There were like 10 of them sitting there and I find her very funny. I like these little, what are these? I always call them tentacles. Shrimp don't have tentacles. I don't know what they are, but they're funny and she has a cute little sparkly tail and sparkly antlers and she's just really adorable. Also from the same collection that Simone is in, we have the narwhals. They're so cute. These are some of my favorites. Okay, I don't really have favorites because they're kind of like all my favorites, but some of them, you know, you have some that are just like a little bit special. I love the color of this and it's just so serene. Her name is Naomi. She has like a rainbow belly and the horn and I got her first and then I found this one 12 inch Naomi she is beautiful I love hugging this one okay I haven't shown you yet this cute little Valentine's fox named Faye Depop again she has a little embroidered heart in her ear and a similar stomach to the narwhal then I'll show you the rest of the foxes I have in my collection I really like the foxes they look kind of like corgis to me and they're all just really cute I can't remember where I got these but they are at Kmart they are at Dimmicks yes Dimmicks the bookstore lots of them 
sell Squishmallows, not all of them because they're all like individually owned stores, but a lot of them do. So check out your local Dimmicks if you have one. Anyway, I love Faith the Tie-Dye Fox. I also have this Valentine's Day Fox called Flora. I bought her on Depop. I love the Valentine's one's little hearts. Like I love hearts. Why can't hearts be on everything, not just for Valentine's Day? And also the sparkly stomach and sparkly ears. And she has a long tail, which looks exactly like my Corgi's tail. Why don't the Corgi Squishmallows have tail? Oh, they do. The Corgi Squishmallows do have tail. Then my final fox is this white fox called Graceland, which has different eyes to all my other Squishmallows. And normally I kind of don't like the other eyes that much. But on this one, I think it really works. I think she's really cute. Okay, I'm going to show you a bunch of five inch ones now. All of them came from Woolworths. We have Aurora, the purple tie dye unicorn. She is so cute. I actually found her at Woolworths myself. And she was just sitting there on a shelf all by herself waiting for me. We have Kaylee the crab. <laughs> She's so funny. Tristan the dinosaur. Henry the turtle. Like, this turtle is so funny. Look at that shell. <laughs> He's so cute. Waverly the butterfly. She's actually a wizard from Waverly Place. Ben the dinosaur. And then Maggie the stingray. I went especially looking for her. I went to like a bunch of Woolworths. She is so cute. A very popular lady on the internet at the moment. And I was lucky enough to find the 12 inch one at Kmart. She's just so cute. I love her fins because when you hug her, look, it's like she's giving you a hug back. Next we have, I was gonna say Lutz. Oh my God, this confuses me so much. So this Squishmallow is called Heather, but there was a misprint on the seven inch one where it says Lux. So when I first got her, I was like, oh, her name's Lux, that's cute. And it kind of stuck in my head, but her name's actually Heather. I also have this clip on one, which is also called Heather. Time for my Aquary octopus family. So these two octopuses are called Olena. I got this Olena from Depop and this one from an online shop called Brickheads Collectibles. They are very good. If you're from Australia, you can order from them. I think they ship internationally as well. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, they have all the Australian squishes, including this beautiful girl. And I have, oh gosh, then I have this little Zobi, which looks very similar to Olena. He just has the eyes open. I also accidentally kidnapped my sister's octopus. Not mine, but he's an honorary member of my Squish fam. Okay, yesterday. So I'd literally just taken a photo of all my blue octopus friends. And then the mail came and this beautiful girl arrived. So excited about her. I'm not used to how cute she is because she only just got here. She was my very first stackable Squishmallow. She once again from, came from Depop. And she's just so cute. Like the little legs all come out the front and the stackables, they just have such a funny shape. They're like nice to cuddle. Also yesterday... This jellyfish came with my Olena. She's a tie-dye jellyfish. She's one of the new ones. I think she came from the Squishmallows website, but I got her off Depop. And I just love that the jellies have these little, these little ribbons coming out of them. Like I said before, I love all the different textures on Squishmallows and I really love the texture of this ribbon. It's just so nice to feel. I also have this jellyfish, which I got from Brickhead's Collectibles again. And likewise with the ribbons. Oh, I just realized this one has much longer ribbons than this one. Maybe these ones are just more curled up. Anyway, either way, I love both my jellyfish. Next up, we have the snail fam. This was my first snail. I got it from Kmart and I, at the time, didn't even know snail squishmallows existed. I was just at Kmart and they had a big box by the checkout and we were like, oh my god, these are so funny. So we got one each. They have a purple tie-dye shell and a sparkly stomach and the little antennas. This one's called Alicia. And then I have Sid the snail, who was a recently released snail here in Australia. Australia. The snails, their shapes just make me laugh. Like, look at this. This is a regular Squishmallow size and this is the snail. It just is so funny to me. Next, we have my Sunny the Squishmallows. I found her at Dimmick. I just went in one day just to check if they had any Squishmallows, not expecting to see like hundreds of Squishmallows in their store. And one of them was 10 inch Sunny and little clip Sunny. Sunny has sparkly wings and a sparkly crown. Not all Sunnies have a sparkly crown or maybe they do, but not all bees have a sparkly crown. And and I just think it's cute because it's like Queen Bee Sunny. That's so funny. Okay, next we have Navina the octopus. No, wait, this is Davina, I think. You see, these two octopuses I got like a few days apart. I think this one's Navina and this one's Davina. This one's actually a 12 inch, which I got from Kmart. Well, my sister got it for me from Kmart. And this one was 10 inch from Dimmix. They are octopuses with horns. I love the octopuses. As you'll see, I have a lot of octopuses. I still have a lot more to show you. And I like when they have all these different colored legs. That's so funny to me. 
me. As you can see, I've kind of given up on putting the Squishmallows back where they came from. They're just going everywhere now. Next up, this is also from Dimmicks. I've got a lot of Squishmallows from Dimmicks, more than I realised actually. This is Cartier the Koala. He is also, oh, this is so hard to do. Hang on, nearly there. He's also a cat. This is my one and only Flip Mellow. I saw her up high on a shelf at Dimmix and I didn't want to ask for her. So I got my sister to ask because socializing scares me. Anyway, this is a very cute koala. She does have this dark bit right here, which I've never seen on any other tie-dye squishmallows, but I thought it looked like a heart and I thought it gave her character and was really cute. She also has fluffy ears. I bought her mostly for the koala. Well, I bought her only for the koala and so she just sits as a koala. Cat is just a sleepy cat who likes to be asleep. Have I shown Abby the octopus? Apologies if I have. Another member of the octopus fam got some hearts, got a sparkly stomach. Time for the original octopuses. I have my purple octopuses here. These are Violet the octopus. I was asking for this Violet the octopus for last Christmas. I have been telling my sister for months how much I wanted the purple octopus squishmallow and so when she gave me her presents on Christmas she gave me this one and it had been sitting under the tree for a few days and it looked squishy and like the size of a purple octopus squishmallow so I was like kind of guessing that that was what it was but then when it came for my mum to give me her presents then I got this enormous box and I was like oh my god like what is this and it was the 16 inch one. She is like so big. I can't even fit her in the viewfinder. She is my favorite one to cuddle because she's so big and squishy. One of her tentacles is literally like as big as one of these clip ons. So yeah, I have three violets currently and I have one on the way. I have the Valentine's one on the way, I hope. It's been like six weeks since I've ordered her. So I'm a bit worried she's lost, but she is coming from Canada. So hopefully she's just taking a sweet time. Okay, so then I have Gordon the shark. I love the sharks. Look how funny Gordon's smile is. I really want the pink shark and I looked it up everywhere and people are selling it for like $200. So I don't think I'm gonna be adding a pink shark to my collection. Only if they release one in Australia. Can they do that please? Or a purple shark. I just want them to make every single Squishmallow in purple. I'm obsessed with purple and Squishmallows, obviously. So I just want an army of purple Squishmallows. Anyway, these came from Dimmix. So this is Ricky at the Blue Clownfish. Now I pretty much got Ricky because he reminded me of Mr. Bump. Like when I first saw a photo of him on Instagram, I was like, oh my God, it's a Mr. Bump Squishmallow. Turns out it was a Blue Clownfish Squishmallow, but I still love the design. I have three of the five inch. It's not that you can't count. It's just that I happened to lose one. I'd know what happened to it. Then I have five inch, 12 inch and 16 inch. Most of these from the website called Pop Culture. Okay, so I have Milo the Mummy, which did I also get because he reminds me of Mr. Bump and how Mr. Bump wears bandages, yes. But he is one of my Mr. Bump plushies. Yes, he's wearing scrunchies and baby socks. If you don't dress up your toys, I don't know what you're doing with your life. You need to sort out your priorities. This is Milo the mummy this is a big version which was one of the first squishmallows I bought online and I bought him off eBay and I paid too much for him because like I didn't understand how much squishmallows actually cost but anyway I love him and he was I mean the money was worth it for me I just normally don't like to support people who are selling squishmallows for a lot more than they buy in the stores and then this little one I don't know where he came from I got him as a present from my sister I think she ordered him online somewhere okay so that's all the squishmallows on my bed if I missed anyone I shall add in a little clip of them. However, we're not done. There's a few more Squishmallows I need to show you. Okay, so these Squishies here, oh my gosh, they're all falling off the bed. These ones here are all from the Mystery Squad. They're from the little like blind bags and you open them and you don't know which one you're going to get. And I bought a lot to get all of them. So I have the seal. I have two of the seal, but I'm afraid the other one went on a vacation with the clownfish and I don't know where it went. <coughs> You see, this is why the mystery ones don't live on my bed because their smell is so strong. I don't know if I'm just like really sensitive to smell, but like it makes me cough. So they can't live on my bed. I'll just show you them briefly so I don't die of coughing. Unicorn, llama dragon and sloth. I think it's just when I have all of them, there are so many different smells at once that my brain just doesn't know what to do with it. I also have this cat squishmallow, which was a squishmallow I got by accident. I bought some squishmallows online and they sent me the wrong one. They just randomly sent me this cat. But when I was reading her tag, it says that she is a yarn expert and I am obsessed with crocheting and I have like two big things of yarn just sitting over there. So she lives in the yarn because she's the yarn expert. So two more things I have to show you. That's 
for. I have my Squishville collection. Here is the Squishville collection. I got all of these off Amazon. They came in five different sets. So the first set I bought was like a Sea Life set which had six of these mini squishes in it. So I had these three. Also this seahorse, this turtle, and this clownfish. The tags are really long. I'm probably gonna cut them off because I have no intention of reselling them and they're kind of just annoying me. So yeah, they came in a six pack and then I got three of the kind of like play sets. So they come in little boxes like this. This is the camping one and they're just like such cute packaging with the R of the Squishmallows on it. I really love the cute little things on the back. Look, it says this camp out is intense. So yeah, the three ones of these I got were the camping set with the dinosaur, the bakery with that owl and the kitchen with this little hedgehog. And the final Squishville set, I got this one just this week is, well, it's not really a set. They just came together. They were also off Amazon and they literally just came in a plastic bag. But yeah, they're these really cute little Squishmallows in vehicles. I was gonna say cars. They're kind of like planes, aren't they? They're still sewn into their cars because I haven't decided if I want to keep them sewn in or not because I worry I might lose them otherwise. And then similar to the Squishville, but not actually Squishville, I have these Micro Mellows, which are quite a bit bigger than the Squishville ones. Like if you look at a comparison of the size, they're like quite a bit taller. Anyway, these Micro Mellows, they come in these little like mystery capsules, so you don't know which one you're gonna get. I got this one for Christmas and I got these two at Kid Stuff just the other week and I was really hoping to get the butterfly and I did, so I was so excited because there's so many different ones you can get. And with that, that is my my entire Squishmallow collection. We have one more thing to discuss, my Squishmallow tag book. So I saw this idea on TikTok. Basically, you just get a binder and you get some like trading card pockets and bam, perfect way to display all your Squishmallow tags. So I got these off eBay, I'll link it below if you're interested. They have like ones for the little tags and then bigger ones for the big tags and it's just a really nice way keep track of all their tags. I do need to add a family photo in the front, but the family keeps changing. I keep getting new Squishmallows like every week. Anyway, I've kept you watching for long enough. I can't believe you stayed with me this whole time. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the Squishmallows. I also have a Squishmallow Instagram, which I just recently made. It's called Smiling Squishes. I also have a TikTok, which I often talk about my Squishmallows, but I've kind of forgotten to make TikToks for like a few weeks. Will I ever return to TikTok? I'm sure I will. So yeah, those are my Instagram and TikTok if you want more squishmallow content from me. Anyway, enough talking from me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again very soon. Bye!